our first speaker doesn't consider himself a party animal, but he does get animated when talking about the end of the year celebration. And he had the opportunity to coordinate it and everything else for our club. So we're really excited that he'd like to report on it. Please welcome to the lectern with his speech, It's Our Party, Steve Lanham. It's our party and we'll brag if we want to, brag if we want to, brag if we want to, and you would brag too if it happened to you. Do, 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 do. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and our newest member, just three weeks ago, we had the opportunity to celebrate Midway's end of the year party. Now, if you were here, you realized that we were celebrate good time. Come on. Now, if you weren't here, you missed it, but you know, you probably heard it through the grapevine. And you heard we had a great time. Honey, honey, yeah. Okay. All right. That's enough vocalizing by this pop star wannabe, I know. But my task here tonight is to talk about and give a retrospective on the project that I had the privilege to coordinate the end of the year celebration. And I must say that in my opinion, I thought it was a resounding success. Why? Three, three success factors in my mind. One, team. Two, Toastmasters. And three, venue slash menu. So success factor number one, team. Now, every good leader realizes he or she cannot do it themselves. No, they must have a Cracker Jack team surrounding them to accomplish the goal that they've set. And that's what I had surrounding me, Cracker Jack team. So let's give a big sh shout out to Rick Sabry, Sherry Wood, and Cynthia Lamb for their help and leadership on this end of the year celebration. Now, Rick, he was the producer in my mind. He was the producer, executive producer maybe, of our meeting that night. As usual, he was behind the scenes tech, technical person like he is tonight. Even though he's not on site, his presence is still here. But that night he was here and he pulled it off like he always does, without a hitch. It's seamless. We don't even realize that he's there. And Rick also helped set up the room that night. Now, Sherry, she was involved with promotions and set design. Sherry sends out things on Facebook. Her promotions are always sparkling. And she added a touch of class to the actual set, the actual room, with her decorations that night. Now, Cynthia, I think of her as the director and the casting director for our event three weeks ago. What did she do? She sat down with me, and before I even got started, she visualized the entire meeting, the agenda, and came up with that and helped me move forward with the agenda for the meeting. And then not only did she do that, she also coordinated and helped procure the people that were on the agenda that particular night. So thanks to all three of you for your contributions to our wonderful end of the year party. That's the first success factor, team. The second success factor is testimonials. Not just testimonials, no tantalizing testimonials. We have four members of our club share that night. Megan Hurley, Cody Lilly, White, Teresa Gotthard, and Kiara Harris got up and told us how Toastmasters has transformed not only their lives, 
in their careers, and other parts of their lives. Now, I know I spent a lot of time during that meeting with my presentation, which I do every year, Midway by the Numbers. And I'm proud of what Midway has done by the numbers. And I enjoy doing that, that presentation. But I have to tell you, my favorite part of that meeting were those testimonials. I mean, they, they just reached out and grabbed me and showed me that Toastmasters, and Toastmasters is a program that really works and helps us grow, not only as communicators, but also as leaders, not only in the club, but outside the four walls and the four lines of your uh, meeting boxes online of this room, of this meeting. So thanks again to those that gave those tantalizing testimonials, which is our second success factor. Now the third success factor in my mind is the combination of venue slash menu. You know, I like to alliterate, you know, I like to rhyme. So venue slash menu, the rhyme for the night. We faced a new challenge this year. We had never done a, an end of the year celebration in hybrid fashion. We've done them all in person, we've done them all in line, but never, never in a hybrid fashion. But we had a challenge. We wanted to, to keep it here in our regular meeting spot. Why? Because the technology when it comes to hybrid is a lot more complicated. And we wanted to reduce and minimize the technical distraction for Rick, our producer. But then we got to thinking, how do we cater the meeting? How do we cater the meeting? And then we just simply looked across campus, realized the cafeteria is over there, and said, let's talk to the Midway Dining Service and see what they can do for us. And they can cater meals. And if you aren't here in the room that night for our end of the year celebration, you missed a fabulous feast. It was a wonderful meal that we had here. And just because we had a different scenario, we were able to come up with a creative solution to that problem. And we had a great meeting here, with a great meal, and it turned out wonderful. So those, the third success factor was the venue combined with the menu that really, really pushed us over the top. But let's stop for a second. If we're doing a retrospective here, then it's important us to think about were there things that we could do better? And yes, there were. The first thing that I thought we could have done better comes back to me. And it's usually the little things that come back and haunt you. And that night, I forgot to assign a timer for the meeting. That wasn't a big deal until our, I realized that our district director was 10 minutes into a speech when I had given him five minutes to speak. And that's when Arlen looked at Charlie and Charlie looked at Arlen. Charlie started flashing the cards. And he didn't wait a minute between every card. Green, yellow, red. So finally we got our district director to move on. Not a big deal. We ended on time. But still one of those little things that fell through the cracks. The second thing that I felt like we could have done better. And again, this is on me. We could have started the planning process a little bit sooner. Now I was busy up to July 1st with District 40 public relations manager stuff. And I didn't get a jump on the planning process. Then we had July 4th weekend and week. So I really didn't get started to July the 6th in earnest in planning this project. And that just left us three weeks. Too tight. It's not enough time. So we were able to put it together and then pull it off, which I thought we did a good job of. But I usually like to leave at least five or six weeks before the event to do the planning and get things in motion. And I didn't do that this time. So that's the second thing we could have done better. The second, third thing I thought we could have done better is, well, let me say it this way. I wish we had the, wish we had, could have had more people here at the meeting to enjoy our meal. Now I realize life happens and 
know, some people weren't able to be here, people that live here in Central Kentucky, because things were going on. And those of you who live out of state, there's no way you could be here. But we had a lot of food go to waste, and there's just too much of a poor boy in me to throw out food. So I just wanted to uh, mention that. But, you know, that's something that we couldn't, couldn't really do much with. But overall, I thought this project had positives that far outweighed the negatives. This was an excellent effort put together by the team we had assembled and supported by the tantalizing testimonials and the combination of the venue and menu that we talked about earlier. And to top it off, we had so much to brag about in that meeting. Midway was again president distinguished as a club, tops honor in Toastmaster. Midway was first in District 40 in the number of educational awards, 30th in the world. And we also were the home club of the winner of our area tabletop contest, our division tabletop contest, and the runner up in the district tabletop contest, our very own Sunday DeGoyer. Have a lot to be proud of. So let me end again on a musical note. I'm sorry. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losers. We are the champions of the world. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs> Sunny's back there waving her eyes.